Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of straight lines. And this question, we have taken it up from the year 2023 of JWE mains. And if I talk about the question which is presented to us here, the question tells us that alpha and beta are centroid of the triangle which is formed by different lines and the equation of the lines given to us here in this case is 15x minus y equal to 18. The second equation of line given to us is 6x minus 5y equal to minus 4 and the third equation of line given to us is 9x plus 4y equal to 7. So our triangle is formed by these three lines and the centroid is also presented as the intersection point of the medians of this triangle which are formed by three lines then we have been asked to find out a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha plus 2 beta and 2 alpha minus beta so we need to find a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha plus 2 beta and 2 alpha minus beta where alpha and beta are the coordinates of the centroid given to us and there are four options that matches here with this quadratic equation which is asked to us and the four options given are x squared minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. Second equation x squared minus 13x plus 42 equal to 0. The third equation given to us here is x squared minus 14x plus 48 equal to 0. And the last option given to us here is x squared minus 10x plus 25 equal to 0. So we need to figure out which of the following quadratic equations is the correct answer for the question which is asked to us whose roots are alpha plus 2 beta and 2 alpha minus beta. So first of all to find this we need the values of alpha and beta and to find the values of alpha and beta we will first need the vertices of the triangle. So if I draw the triangle here with the lines equations, so one equation of line is 15x minus y equal to 18. Second lines equation is 6x minus 5y equal to minus 4. And third equation of line is 9x plus 4y equal to 7. So we know these three equations of line. So if I want to find the vertices of the triangle, let's say A, B, and C. So if I want to find the three coordinates or three vertices of the triangle A, B, and C, to find the coordinates of the vertices, what I can do here is to find coordinates of vertex A. I know that A is nothing but intersection point of these two linear equations which are presented to us. So if I solve these two linear equations simultaneously, let's try to solve it. So if I find the vertices of A, I can find that by just solving these two linear equations simultaneously. One is 15x minus y equal to 82 and the other is 9x plus 4y is equal to 7. When I am solving these two linear equations simultaneously, I understand I can make the coefficient of y same here. To make that same, I can just multiply this equation by 4. So if I multiply that by 4, it becomes 60x minus 4y is equal to 2 4s are 8 and 8 4s are 30. This equation becomes 9x plus 4y is equal to 7. So if I solve this further, this gets cancelled because I'm adding the two equations simultaneously. This becomes 69x is equal to 328 plus 17 which is 345. So x becomes 345 by 69, which gives me 1s are 5s are. So x value we get here as 5. Once I get the value of x here as 5, y becomes 15x minus 82. So 15 into 5 minus 82. That is 75 minus 82, which is minus 6. So you get this entire thing here, 
that x is 5 and y is minus 7. And this are nothing but the intersection point of these two lines. That is the coordinates of A. So coordinates of A, if I write it in orange color, I get this as 5. So I have the first vertex with me, that is A. Let's find other vertex B. B is nothing but intersection of this line. 6x minus 5y equal to minus 4. And the other equation of line, that is 9x plus 4y equal to 7. So solving these two linear equations, I'll get the coordinates of the vertex. So let's find vertex B here. If I solve this simultaneously, I'll multiply this by 4 and this also by 5, make the coefficients of y same. So if I multiply throughout by 4 and 5, my equation here becomes 24x minus 20y equal to minus 16. And here my equation becomes 45x plus 20y equals to 85. If I add the two equations, this gets cancelled out. You get 45 plus 24, 69 x. 85 minus 16 is equal to 69. So x becomes 1. Once you get the value of x as 1, you put that x equal to 1 in the any of the equations and get y. So if I put it in the second equation, 4y is 17 minus 9x, which is 9 into 1, which is 8. So y becomes 2 here. I get x equal to 1, I get y equal to 2. So your coordinates of the vertex B becomes 1, 2. So you get the vertex B also in this case. That is. Now let's find the third coordinates, third vertex coordinates that is C. So C if I want to find out here, it is nothing but intersection of which two lines. Let's just find that out. So it is intersection of 15x minus y equal to 82. And 6x minus 5y equal to minus 4. So 6x minus 5y equal to minus 4. 15x minus 5y. Again, if I try to solve this two simultaneously, I'll make the coefficient same. So to make that same, I'll multiply this by 5. So I get the coefficient of y same. So that becomes 75x minus 5y is equal to 82 into 5. So 2 5s are 10. And 8 5s are 40 and 141. So 410. Here you are keeping it as it is. So 6x minus 5y equal to minus. Now if I am solving this two simultaneously, what I can do is I can subtract this. So subtract this, changes the sign. This gets cancelled. 6x minus 75x. So that is minus 69x. Minus 4 minus 410. So minus 414. So you get this and this also cancelled. So x becomes 414 by 16. So if I try to solve this, if I multiply 69 by 6, 6 times are 54, 5, 6, 6 are 36, and 40. So you get this 414. So this gets cancelled. You get x equal to 6. So the value of x is equal to 6 here. If I put that value of x equal to 6, I get the value of y also. So y is 15 into x minus 82. So 15 into 6 minus 82, 90 minus 82, which is 8. So I get x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 8. So I have the third vertex also here present with me. So I have all the three vertices known. Now if I just want to find the coordinates of the centroid, I know the idea that Coordinates of centroid are given by x is equal to addition of all the x coordinates of the triangle. So x coordinates of all the three vertices of the triangle divided by 3. And y that is coordinates of the centroid here. That is given by y1 plus y2 plus y3. So if I just add all the x coordinates first. That is 5 plus 1, 6 plus 6. 5 plus 1 plus 6. On 3. So that is 6 plus 6 upon 3, which is 4. And y coordinates, if I find out, that is minus 7 plus 2 plus 8. Minus 7 plus 2 plus 8. 
So you get y coordinate here as eight and so ten and ten minus seven three three by three, which is one. So you have x and y here that is coordinates of centroid, and that were given to us as alpha and beta. So from here, if I compare it, I get the values of alpha and beta. Alpha is four, beta is one. Once I get the values of alpha and beta from the expression, I need to just now find out the quadratic equation whose roots are alpha plus two beta and two alpha minus beta. So if I first find the roots of the quadratic equation separately, alpha plus two beta that is four plus two into one, that is four plus two six, and two alpha minus beta that is four into two, so two alpha minus beta. Eight minus one, that is. So we have these two e roots of the equation, quadratic equation, and we know that a quadratic equation, when we know the roots, it is given by x square minus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots is equal to. Zero. So if I just use that idea, I get it. X square minus Sum of the roots that is six plus seven, thirteen. Product of the roots six into seven is equal to zero. So I have this quadratic equation with me that is x square minus thirteen x plus forty two is equal to zero. So this becomes your quadratic equation for which the roots are alpha plus two beta and two alpha minus beta. So once I get those quadratic equation that matches your with the option. B. So B is the correct answer for the question which is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. So what we did was first with the three linear equations given, we solved two of them at a time simultaneously and got the three vertices A, B, C. Once we got the three vertices A, B, C, we just figured out the coordinates of centroid by using the formula of x and y that is x one plus x two plus x three by three. And y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 that gave us coordinates of centroid as 4.1, which, when compared with alpha and beta, got us the values of alpha as 4 and beta as 1. Once we got alpha and beta, we just figured out the values of alpha plus 2 beta and 2 alpha minus beta because these two are the roots of the quadratic equation. We got that as 6 and 7, and then we just put those values in the quadratic equations formula. That x square is minus seven plus sum of the roots into x plus product of the roots is equal to zero. So once you put the quadratic equation here, x square minus seven plus six thirteen and seven into six here so forty, and that matches with option B here. So option B is the correct answer for the question given to us. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in this preparation of journey of JWE questions, so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving every day. Thank you.